Hey there people. Well, no scrapping for me today. I just went for a ride in the Ford and there's a heavy duty grinding in the front end. Uh, brakes I'm assuming. Well, for sure brakes because when I press the brakes, crack, crack, crack. Anyway, we'll rip the wheels off and have a peek. Oh yeah, just by pulling off the hubcap, I can tell the, the pads are screwed. Okay, let's get that wheel off. Well, that explains the grinding. There's nothing left. And the rotors are screwed too. Oh, well, we're still going to stick new pads on and see what happens. I'm going to set a rotor set gasolines, I hope. I know, I know. I should get new rotors, but I can't afford it right now. But I paid 30 bucks for the pads. We'll throw them on as long as they last till I get new rotors. Like I said, maybe gasoline's got a set in my old Ford back there. I don't know, the 4x4 four four would be the same or... Okay, let's put the pads on. Well, there we go. New pads, old rotor. Let's see how long that lasts. Okay, I'm gonna throw the wheel back on and do the other side. One side done, on to the next. Well, this side's a lot nicer than the other side was. Huh. I still, I'm still gonna get two new rotors one day. <laughs> Brake job done. Almost done. Just gotta put the wheel back on. We'll go for a little ride, see how it works. Four beer job. Okay, let's grab Shelly and uh, get her to test drive this thing. You gonna test the brakes or? Oh, well, that's right. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Forgot. No squeaking. No grinding, you mean? There we go. We got brakes. Well, we had brakes before. They were just noisy. No you easy. Got better brakes now. Uh-oh. There goes your multi-tool. <laughs> More information. Scrappy scrap. Looks like the cat's got some mail today. Well, I guess since I did the brakes on the truck yesterday, I can go through this and return what I can today and get to work. Well, I said I wasn't going to go through this stuff, but I might as well. Like, I mean, there's copper, there's brass, there's brand new blades, there's that pot. Okay, let's go through it. So far out of this first blue box, got some copper, some stainless steel, some brass, a thermostat from what? I don't know, but I just have to call Canadian Tire. Be cool if it was one from my vehicles. And this blade. Oh, and the pot. Let's carry on. Okay, I went through all the shit. There's a lot of shit. Lots of nuts and bolts and shit. Nails, shit. Whatever shit I don't want. All right, let's clean up my yard and load some more. Well, here's the shit I ended up keeping. Found another one of these buttons. I don't know. I tried finding the other whistle. I had two whistles. Oh, well, too bad. To the scrap yard you go. And Paperweight Girl wants a stapler, so there you go. Mm -hmm. That's going on the Ford today. Well, that's about it for anything that's kind of heavy, anyway. That's a good thing. Now I can get rid of some of these barbecue frames. I'm just gonna pull the, the brass off of them and load them. Well, there's today's mess. I didn't get my license plate thing put on yet, but we'll do that when we get home. There we go, let's see what we get. Well, I'd like to say 50 bucks. Be happy with 50, but we'll see. Ah, I was gonna grab that door today, but it's gone. Somebody else grabbed it. So I waited in at 5160. Let's see what I weigh out at. First, we gotta dump this shit, I guess. All right, I'm weighing out at 4380. Oh yeah, I still got that piece of metal I brought there for them to check out. Let's see what that's all about when we get back. So right on. 
a little better than I thought. It's always good. And that little uh, round piece of metal that I had brought in last week, they tested it and it's, uh, it ends up being nickel. So they have to ship it out and uh, we'll, we'll see what we get in about two weeks from now. Well, it's about 10 pounds maybe, and she's guessing six bucks a pound, so 60 bucks, I'd be happy with that. Okay, let's take a little baby ride around and see if we find anything. I met up with a guy at the scrapyard. He's going to do my area right now, so I'm going to do a few little back streets that he might not know of, and that's about it. I mean, there's no point of doing the same thing at the same time. Well, that's it for me for today, because I just seen a little minivan with a trailer, which is another scrapper. And I seen Buddy with the green truck that I was just talking to at the scrapyard, so this area's been picked over. This guy in front of me, the nether scrapper. So it's <laughs> it's super pointless today. Like, what's up with this? Get out of my hood. Yep, I'd say four scrappers in one area is uh, a little much. <laughs> so whatever, we'll let them fight over it. We're gonna go home and have some beers. How about that? Save my gas for tomorrow. There's my old man. the dude dad careful well since my scrapping days all screwed up let's go for a visit with a uh, paperweight girl she was having trouble with her movies maker or whatever and I burnt her a copy let's see if it's working or not any puppies outside ah one puppy the other puppy. So yeah, I'm back home now. I just realized something. I could swear we had two blue boxes when I cleaned out that shed the other day. Like I remember Shelly helping me with both boxes. I was teasing her to grab an end and this and that. And uh... <laughs> you caught me in the midst. In the midst. Making a movie? Yeah. You're making a movie. Good on, bro. Not much, you? Not, well, just talking about blue boxes right now. Well, the thing is, I cleaned out a shed the other day, and Shelly and I, we filled up two of these, and I got Shelly, I was teasing her, I couldn't lift it, I couldn't lift oh, it, yeah? so she helped me with both both blue boxes into the truck, and now I unloaded today, and there was when only one picker? blue box. When you were a picker? When I was a picker. When you no pick, no picking? Somebody picked one of my blue boxes out of my truck full of shit. Really? Either that or forgot it behind. No, I didn't forget it behind because Shelly helped me lift it into the yeah. truck. So yeah, somebody picked the picker. Picked the picker. She's half boxer, half Italian Mastiff. Look at that thing. She's beautiful. Don't mess around. So yeah, Lynn's still having trouble with her uh, movie maker or whatnot. I don't know what's going on with her computer. Gotta get it revamped or whatnot. But anyway, I kind of volunteered. Uh, Lynn's daughter, she's a uh, or paperweight girl's daughter. Sorry, she's doing a thing for school, like a little movie, and I volunteered to film it. Like uh, I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. Maybe I shouldn't, but uh, anyway, people, thanks for watching. Big time. Cheers. Talk to you guys later.